Okay, so today, just a quick straightforward unboxing thing, if you can call it that. This is the BT Smart Hub, otherwise known as the BT Hub 6. Um, this is the second one I've had so far, the first one I never did an unboxing video. But this one's here because the previous one was faulty. So I thought I'd just pop it on here, show you what's inside this box, whether or not it's a replacement completely with all the plug and stuff, I'm not sure. It might just be a junk one where it's just literally the hub itself. Um, right. Fits through most letter boxes which yep but not when your postman wants to knock on the door anyway which is what happened right here is our wonderful hub there's some junk on box what's that huh Got a bundle like a BT Mini Hub or BT TV2. What the hell's a Mini Hub? I've not heard of a Mini Hub. I'll have to look into that, I think. Right, yeah. Get me little sticker. I never ever leave it like. Right, well, that's a weird password. That's a huge network key. Hmm. Obviously in the UK, so we have a UK plug. The power adapter, which I can't remember, but is it the wrong way around? Yeah. When will people realize? Right. What always really annoys me is when you get something, say I've got a, an extension lead that has eight sockets, but it's four above and four below, and they're designed in a way that plugs like this take up two sockets because the next plug is, socket is just here. Now, why BT constantly changes between the two, where the plug would be the opposite way round? Still does tight. You don't want that off often. If the plug's like that, which they change between on different models, like the Hub 3, Hub 4, Hub 5. I think the Hub 5 is that way round, which makes way more sense. I hate companies who have it that way round, because it takes up two sockets. And I can't be the only person in the world that that's an issue for. But hey ho. This box is very awkward. Right. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Uh, take. Oh. Oh. Not that it's necessary to really cover it, but um, here we have the back. Four gigabit ports. Yeah, ADSL, VDSL, telephone line socket there your lovely little reset button which happens quite a lot power on off now there's a WPS button here which I've never enjoyed having there's no actual just straightforward reset 
restart even your only option is to turn that on and off so I'd rather have had a, a restart button there but eh, somebody somewhere thought it was a good idea to leave that off now other than that there's just some info oh, there we go they want me to send the old one back in this and in that but we probably won't be doing that so there we have our BT Smart Hub 2016 sadly it's not the one that has been spoken about where EE and BT are supposed to be adding in a little mobile phone mast inside these to extend the network which is what I really really hoped for because I've got an E mobile and the signal's rubbish or at least it's rubbish on my iPhone so and I've sent back several iPhones because they've became faulty which is bizarre but I th I don't know it's always BT and iPhones don't get along in my experience but anyway going off on a tangent there this is the BT Smart Hub for 2016 hopefully this video was of some interest to you I've babbled on a bit and um, if you'd like please hit subscribe either down below or in the top right hand corner and join me next time for something else who knows what it may be I've not got that far just yet but thanks for watching hit that subscribe and see you next time thank you